Hello from San Antonio. This is Saren Tayro. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. His or her next move. This reading is timeless, and for this reading, I'm using four different decks. I'll shuffle and pull four cards from each deck to form four different piles. All of my pick a card readings are for the general collective for entertainment purposes. If anything does resonate, that could be synchronicity, but I do emphasize entertainment purposes. I am always available for private, in depth personal readings, which are done on the webcam as pre recorded, unlisted videos. All of my information, including my PayPal address, is included in each and every description box. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres. newest deck arrived today. I've wanted this deck for a long time. I finally splurged at Amazon. Whenever I get a new deck, I shuffle it off camera a few times run it through incense and sage smoke to cleanse it. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. 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 Uno, dos, tres. Cuatro. Bueno, four beautiful piles. And this is pile one, extreme close-up. This is pile two. This is pile three. And this is pile four.
you chose pile one, here is your reading. We have the Three of Swords. King of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Death. King of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. Five of Swords. Queen of Pentacles, Justice, the Emperor, Knight of Swords, Nine of Wands, Five of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Four of Pentacles. I see blunt, direct communication. I see him or her reaching out to you and telling you that now is not a good time to proceed with a relationship. There is a very strong sexual attraction here. Um, what we're missing is water. There are no cups. I don't think it's bullshit. I don't think they're lying when they tell you that now is not a good time. They're not able to access their deeper emotions. Their heart chakra is pretty much blocked according to these cards. They can't get into a romantic, intimate relationship. They could be going through a divorce. They could be negotiating the details of joint custody with an ex, soon to be ex. Um, I see a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibilities. I see intense activity in the 3D. This person is just basically working their ass off. They don't have time to breathe. They don't have time for anything beyond what is immediately in front of them. They couldn't give you anything. I mean, that is rare to have absolutely no cup cards. The only water to this pile is death, which is Scorpio. So I feel like death being over Queen of Pentacles signifies that they're going through a divorce. And it's significant. I mean, every divorce is significant. It's, it's a major life event. It's stressful. But here, there's probably a lot of stuff to split up. A lot of money, property, and I'm seeing children. And they're just weary. They're exhausted. I don't feel like they want to end things completely with you. I don't feel like um, this is a a fuck you or um, a finality because it ends on four of pentacles which shows attachment. Um, and we have six of wands twice. Um, so the four of pentacles could be a strong attachment to this connection, it could also be that they're being very tight with their money right now. They're being very conservative. Uh, they're financially strapped. Um, 
if the two of you were to communicate on an ongoing basis, it would not be good. It would be up and down, extreme highs, extreme lows. With the Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Wands, um, Five of Swords. So I wouldn't recommend pushing this person or asking for much. I would give this person space. Let them work out their life and um, I wouldn't even recommend checking up on them, you know, sending the occasional text. Hi, I hope you're doing okay. I would just leave this person alone. Let them reach out. Whenever I do readings for clients and the emperor shows up, you know, depending on the context, but usually, invariably, when the emperor shows up, that's what I tell clients. Do not contact this person. They have to be the one in charge. They have to be the one to initiate. This person has a very strong type A personality. Um, this is not a warm and fuzzy pile at all. Again, no cups. So, They probably have a pretty complicated natal chart, but I am seeing fire, obviously, with King of Wands and the Emperor and Will of Fortune. Um, marriage is strong here with Three of Swords, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and Justice. But one example of many, they could have Sun and Sagittarius, Moon and Aquarius, Capricorn Rising but they're not in holding hands and sending romantic text mode. Um, they're not paying attention to dreams or downloads. They're, they're blocked. They're very much in the 3D. They are entrenched in the stress and intensity of the 3D at this time. You probably have strong fire in your chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or Mercury. And with this Five of Wands and Five of Swords, you could have um, square Mercury. So one example of many, your person could have their Mercury at five Sagittarius. You could have your Mercury <clears throat> at seven Pisces. That's a tight square. But I'm not seeing communication that's conducive to a loving relationship. Okay, we have Aquarius and Gemini. I mean, five is Mercury, that can be Gemini or Virgo. We do have Pentacles, so it could be either one, Virgo or Gemini. Four is Aquarius. And one is Leo, the sun. So you could have squares and polarities in your synastry. Did you get the package, guy? No, I forgot keys. Okay, be careful. My son is skateboarding to the mailbox. So that is what I have for pile one. If that resonates, please let me know. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Muchas gracias. And if you chose pile two, We have the Emperor, Ten of Cups, Three of Cups, Judgment, Strength, Eight of Wands, Six of Cups, the High Priestess, Temperance, Six of Swords, Nine of Swords, Three of Pentacles, The Hermit, Three of Swords, 
Eight of Wands, the star. I don't see this person taking action anytime soon, but when they do finally reach out, it's going to be unexpected, it's going to be sexual and romantic. They want to come to you. They want to travel to wherever you are. Um, this could be on social media, but I definitely see distance here with Six of Swords and the star. I associate the star with social media. That's Aquarius. It suggests emotional and psychic distance. They do want to work on a relationship. They definitely want to have sex with you. They do see you as someone they could have forever with. They do see you as an optimal life partner. They likely regard you as a soulmate. Uh, they think about you constantly. But with all this major arcana, it's like I tell clients when I do the personal readings, I do minimal six card spreads from one deck, six cards for each question. If I see one or more major arcana in a six card spread, that does suggest emotional and psychic distance, blocks, blocks of energy. And this is a lot, even for, um, is it 12 cards? Took me a while to pass basic algebra in college. Yeah, this is, this is a lot of major arcana. The first row alone, the emperor, strength, temperance. So this person probably has strong fire in their natal chart, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Mercury, a fire dominant chart. The Hermit, Virgo, that first row is all major arcana. 16. So my pick a card readings are usually 16 card piles. It's a lot of information. There are definitely feelings here romantic feelings and their strong sexual attraction. Uh, Three of Swords is not always third party. Um, this can be just a matter of bad timing. Maybe you've wanted to get something started with this person for quite some time and they've just been reluctant to really get involved. For this, I'm seeing distance as the main factor. Considerable distance, not like a couple hundred miles apart, but like you're in different states, different countries, different continents possibly. There could be an ocean between you. Considerable distance. Um, but when they do contact you, and it won't be for a while to have that first row all major arcana and then we have judgment and the high priestess and the star. When they do contact you, I feel like they're going to want to take this to the next level. They want to move toward uh, a committed relationship. Which seems ridiculous. I mean, you know, to have months or years of no contact and then for someone to just come blowing down your door saying, okay, let's do this. Let's get together and, and work towards something. Maybe you and this person had a relationship before or maybe you had a really strong connection and it scared them and they just backed off and they went ghost on you. I don't know. Um, and it could be a progression, you know. They reach out. It's sexual and romantic and then slowly you get to know each other and it leads to marriage possibly with Ten of Cups, but there is a very strong sexual attraction. Uh, you could be soulmates, but they do want to work on something. So, you could have Cancer in your chart, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or Mercury. Um, whenever there are no 
kings, queens, or knights, I look to major arcana for the astrology, for the signifiers. But with all these cups um, and temperance, which I see as the two of cups of the major arcana, you probably have really intense moon sinistry. Your moons can be conjunct, in opposition, trine, sextile, square. I think that the opposition and conjunction are the best, but whatever the aspect is, you want a tight or five degrees or less for maximum intensity. Okay, strong communication. And Leo, five is Mercury, which rules Gemini and Virgo. Five and five, that's 10, that's one. One is Leo. There is singularity to this connection. And four is Aquarius. So we have the Leo Aquarius axis, the most creative axis in Western astrology. You could be amused to this person. You could collaborate on creative projects with each other. So that's what I have for pile two. If that resonates, let me know. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Click the bumper notifications, which is crosses. Thank you, son. How did the skateboard feel? Are you feeling confident on it? I still drift to the right. I was gonna have to tie in the trucks to the point where they don't even fly anymore. And then I'm gonna drift. Okay, well, tell him when he gets home. If you chose pile three, My son got his new skateboard yesterday. Seven of Cups. Two of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Page of Swords, the Empress, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, the Fool, Eight of Wands, Death, Ace of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Temperance. Okay, there's probably an age gap here. You could both have strong earth in your natal charts. I'm seeing Taurus with the Empress because she is Venus, which rules Taurus and Libra. All these pinnacles, I'm seeing Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or Mercury. The two of you could have a conjunction in Taurus. One example of many, your person could have their Mars at 15 Taurus. You could have your Venus at 17 Taurus. Tight conjunction. White hot. I'm seeing foolish communication, immature communication, possibly a drunk text. This person getting drunk, um so that they have the courage to contact you. Maybe they didn't behave that well when you were last talking, connecting. Um, I see them basically making an ass of themselves. Um, they fantasize about you. They have a lot of respect for you. But this person does not have much life experience. They lack sophistication. Um, they lack intuition. If you're familiar with MBTI, this is probably a sensor. Um, the S is for sensor, the N is for intuition. So you could be an intuitive and this person could be a sensor. You could both be sensors, but I'm seeing someone who is not that integrated. Um, 
they definitely have a blind spot. Although the two of you have not communicated in quite some time, uh, they see nothing wrong with just reaching out in a very aggressive sexual way. Um, it's a weird disconnect because they do have respect for you and I am seeing a lot of earth, but they could have uh, moon Neptune in their chart. They could have the moon Neptune square conjunction, opposition. For instance, if they have their Neptune at 20 Sagittarius and their moon is at 22 Sagittarius, the tight conjunction, something like that. But they dream of you um, and there is a really strong attraction, but I'm seeing someone who's just very awkward. You'll probably laugh out loud when you receive the text or direct message from this person. Um, they could have Aquarius in their chart. They could have Venus in Aquarius, which can be very awkward with relationships and communication. Um, I have my Venus at 16 Aquarius and I'm 47 years old and it's been years and years of trial and error where I think I have a connection with someone and I reach out and as it turns out, I was in it alone. I was in the Seven of Cups. I was projecting. I thought there was something there, but there wasn't. I'm seeing something similar here. Um, I don't know if you have feelings for this person because I feel like you very much have the upper hand. Um, you have class, you have experience with people in general, you have experience with romantic relationships, you could be married and divorced, you could have been married and divorced at least once, you could have children, um, but you're in your power. You can pick and choose, you don't have to settle for this person. I mean, you could be with any number of people. Uh, you have sexual charisma, Money is not an issue. You have stability and financial security. And you may be amused or even charmed by this person, but you're not going to just fall all over yourself, you know, if they send you a, a message or a text. It's not going to put balloons in your sky because your life is going pretty well, according to these cards. Having the Empress... In the last row, with three of wands, eight of wands, temperance, you're balanced, you're okay, you're solid, you're successful. You could be talking to various people. And this could just be one of the people or someone that you've not talked to in quite some time and they just start blowing up your phone out of the blue. And it's kind of a head scratcher, like where did this come from? What the hell? I feel like there probably was an ending or a disconnect between the two of you at some point. They're coming back, wearing their heart on their sleeve. They could have Sagittarius as well. Sagittarius can be really awkward. Mercury in Sagittarius, Venus in Sagittarius, Mars in Sagittarius. Um, and then four is Aquarius, one is Leo, the sun, and five is Mercury, which rules Gemini and Virgo. I'm seeing awkward communication. So that's what I have for pile three. If that resonates, let me know. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Muchas gracias. And if you chose pile four, we have the eight of wands. I'm still getting used to the Marseille. The devil. King of Cups. Four of Cups. Four of Wands. 
Queen of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. I feel like you blocked this person. You might have blocked them on social media. You felt like they weren't respecting you. You felt like they weren't giving you much. It could be you were the one who initiated communication the majority of the time and you felt like this person just wasn't interested. Nine of Cups. But they definitely are interested according to these cards. I call Eight of Wands the sex card. Strong sexual attraction. Potential for marriage here with Four of Wands over Nine of Cups. It's pretty strong. Hierophant, marriage. Five of Swords. Yeah, I see you cutting this person off. You used very harsh words. You told them to kick rocks. Seven of Swords. Because they were in and out with that imbalanced, ambivalent nonsense. You know, blowing up your phone one day, then going ghost. You don't have time for that bullshit. Five of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. There was definitely an ending. Uh, Page of Cups. And Seven of Pentacles. It's been a while. They are coming back. But I feel like when they come back, when they initiate communication, it's going to be more of the same with this person. Uh, they have a lot of growing up to do. They're very inexperienced. Um, they have to grow into this King of Cups energy. I feel like right now, they don't have balance. They're not sure what exactly they want. They do feel drawn to you, uh, but they're not balanced. Four of Cups, that's a big red flag. Codependency issues. They could be dealing with addiction. Um, could be they're mentally imbalanced and they're just not doing the work. They're not working on themselves to find stability and peace of mind. They're neglecting their spiritual hygiene. But they probably have strong water energy. And they could have a dynamic natal chart. They could have water, earth, and air. One example of many, they could have sun in Pisces, moon in Taurus, Gemini rising, something similar. But this person has some messes to clean up and you can't assist them. With that. I mean, you could, that's your choice, but I don't know why anyone would want to. I mean, my thing is come to me when you've done the work on your own and we've both done the work and we're two equals and we can work together on something substantial that's deeply gratifying to both of us. So again, there is potential for a committed relationship eventually. Um, but you want to make sure that it's based on something deeper than sexual attraction. Right now, this person does not have much to offer you. They're operating from a deficit. Finances could be an issue, but I'm seeing personality problems, um, psychological trouble, spiritual issues for this person. They're not in the best place. They're going to reach out regardless because they feel this strong pull to you. Um, but I feel like they're going to come in only to go out again. So this is not steady, reliable energy for pile four. Two threes, Jupiter Sagittarius. It's the highest vibration number with Sagittarius. Uh, there's a learning curve. Usually someone who has strong Sagittarius in their chart, they're not going to settle down until much later in life. Uh, they want to sow their wild oats and explore. Four Aquarius, four of wands. In this case, I'm seeing a lack of stability. And two, Cancer, the moon. This person could have um, a lot of aspects to their moon. 
and sinistry. I mean, in their natal chart. You could have aspects between your moons and sinistry as well, but I'm not seeing favorable moon sinistry. I'm seeing this person having problems with their moon and their natal chart. Their moon could square their Mars, their Pluto, their Neptune. Uh, I feel like they lack clarity. They're not on even ground. They don't have much to offer you at this time. So that's pile four. Let me know if that resonates. And that does conclude this pick a card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio.